two Apex Titans, the long reigning champion, the Bloodhound versus the wizard with the big hat, the new ish cumber seer. Which is better? Which should you be using? Let's figure it out. Starting off with their fighting capabilities and going over their differences a little bit. Bloodhound is the more aggressive legend, mainly due to their ultimate ability. You pop that ult, you're running into a frenzy, you want to kill everyone. This ultimate is a very powerful ultimate ability, not to mention you do get increased information from those scans and the tactical scan in general. It's kind of just hit it and forget it. The tracking capabilities overall of Bloodhound are pretty good. The passive is good to tell who was around recently, but it's not quite as good as, say, Seer's passive, which we'll get to in a second. Enemies are also going to know when you have scanned them because of that giant red wave and they have that icon on top of their screen that does say that they're tracked. This is not quite as good, again, as Seer's passive ability where they have no idea who is around. But overall, Bloodhound is a very aggressive legend, especially for a recon character. And the scan play makes it very easy for the whole squad to make full use of that scan and it's just a breeze to coordinate with your team. Seer on the other hand is a little bit more reserved in some ways. He does not have the same ultimate power and pushing power as Bloodhound. Relaying information to the squad is a little bit longer to do as well because you do need to bring up those hands, find out where they are precisely, and then you can relay that information to the team. In addition, you got to verbally relay it whereas Bloodhound you can just pop that tactical. For Seer's ultimate though, the tracking of weeding enemies out and rats and seeing who is around in general in your area, this is absolutely top notch. Anyone can just see these little diamonds on the players and it makes it very easy to track players. And really it's a little bit more readily available than Bloodhound in their scan. And like we did mention, there is no way to really counter Seer's passive heartbeat. This basically means you're never gonna really get ratted on if you are using the ability properly and you should always be able to tell who is around for a third party right after you do clean up a fight. The tactical scan though is also incredible in a very high pressure situation. You can really mess up an entire team, but unlike Bloodhound's tactical scan, it requires accurate timing and placement and it's not going to be the most reliable. Both of these legends are pretty great fighters, but the legend who is purely better at fighting for me is going to be Bloodhound due to the nature of their kit. Apex is a very mobile game, and Bloodhound's ultimate enhances this power and this fighting capability. If we do take a look at the support capabilities of these two legends, Bloodhound is probably the weaker of the two. They can still support their teammates with those scans, but it's definitely not as great in terms of actual team help, whereas Seer is a little bit more powerful. The always active ultimate is really really great to just understand who is around and all of your teammates readily get that information right away. Basically, you don't have the way for Bloodhound to use that scan to get supported right away and you can't just drop that ultimate down. On the other side of things though, Bloodhound has this tactical ability whereas Seer, you really gotta wait for that ultimate to support your teams. Both legends though are not the most supportive but I give the slight edge to Seer and how much knowledge he can pass around at any moment with his passive or that ultimate ability that does benefit everyone. The ability to sway battles, you wanna get into battle and if your team is getting knocked or your team is down a little bit and you want to turn the tides, which legend is going to be best? Bloodhound's ultimate in a pinch can sway things, but generally it's not going to be able to make you go from 0 to 100 like some other abilities in Apex could. More scans are always great, and that speed boost is also great, so you can take on multiple 1 on 2s or 1 on 3s, but generally the speed boost is not really going to help you turn the tide of a battle. Seer though, the tactical scan can just absolutely wipe out an entire squad with one good placement of that scan. If it stops some heals or re vibes or if you tell if enemies are weak or not it's honestly just huge information for you to get and of course that passive heartbeat sensor also can pretty much just sway battles because you do know where everyone is whether they're hiding healing up or if they're ratting overall both are okay to sway battles but seer has the ability to 180 power turn things much better with that tactile and that ultimate ability survivability which legend is gonna last longer in a fight or in a match bloodhound very good i'm not gonna lie maybe a little bit on the larger side of things for a legend though but popping that that ultimate ability can get you a quick getaway and make you a lot harder to hit in a one-on-one -on -one or a one-on-two fight. The speed boost is definitely a little underrated. Not to mention, increased scans means you're getting all that awareness readily, and not just for you, but your teammates. Sierra on the other side of things, they're okay. No real movement or crazy flashy playmaking. The passive can help post-fight and pre-fight to tell where people are a little bit better, but overall, it's not going to help you in the battle quite as much as a Bloodhound ult. Sierra's ultimate, though, it can help you out when players are entering the third part of you but at the same time the ultimate just alerts to everyone that you are fighting so it's kind of a win-loss situation overall both legends survivability are decent but the edge is going to come to bloodhound for me and the power of that ultimate Sears passive is good but the ultimate has too many pros and cons that balance its power out the approachability which legend is easier to use and which one are you going to pick up and more than likely be able to succeed with 
Bloodhound, for starters, everyone gets them. They're a default legend, and that helps out a ton. They're pretty much brainless. It's very easy to play Bloodhound. You hit that tactical, you get that information, and it benefits you and the team. There is some skill involved when understanding when to scan or when you need to not scan, but Bloodhound is a very easy legend to use, and anyone will find success with them. However, if we do look at Seer, you still have to have a pretty good understanding of your surroundings. It's still kind of needed to know what's going on. You need to know when to look around with that passive, even if it is pretty easy to do so. And accuracy is going to be key with the tactical. And of course, good ultimate placement is also important, where Bloodhound really doesn't have any of this. You don't have the aim with that tactical, and you don't really got to think about where you're placing your ultimate or when you are using your ultimate as a Bloodhound. It kind of just works. And as you know, you are not going to get Seer as default because you do have to unlock them. But I am not really taking this into account when I am ranking them here. They are just going to take a little bit more to get used to since you do have to play the game before you can unlock them. Hands down though, Bloodhound is the easier legend to learn and use. You may not have the same skill ceiling, but in some ways they are the easiest, best legend for a newer or less skilled player to use. One word of warning, if you are picking up Bloodhound, do not get over reliant on the scanning abilities. You don't want to go from Bloodhound to another legend and then have no idea where anyone is and not really know how to play the game. End game viability. Some legends work great earlier on and some lose power due to their ring being smaller or you can't really utilize their abilities or their abilities just don't work at the end game kind of like a lobus passive bloodhounds end game viability is definitely still very strong more scans is going to help out a ton and likewise with seer their end game viability is also pretty good but the passive does lose a little bit of its mojo when it does come to an end game you aren't really needing to look around as much with your hands to see who's ratting on you or who is trying to third party you because generally the ring is going to be pretty small the tactile also i think might lose a little bit of end game viability but if you are in a multi-team fight during end game i actually think the tactical is still pretty good and is still warranted but i kind of want bloodhound scan so i can't understand everyone that is around so when it does come to end game viability i'm going to slightly give the edge to bloodhound just because their ultimate and their abilities are a little bit easier to use and you're going to get a lot more information kind of quickly compared to seer whereas seer you really got to be a little bit slower using your hands using your tactical aiming it and bloodhound it doesn't really have this seer's ultimate during the end game also i think might lack a little bit of power just because it is going to be a little bit more constricted circle if someone sees the origin of that seer ultimate they're going to destroy it and you probably won't have as many play options when it does come to where you are placing that ultimate ability of course what mode you are playing in in apex legends is going to matter when you are picking a legend to use and specifically for bloodhound versus seer if we look at pubs bloodhound and pubs is definitely the better pick than seer pubs you really aren't playing as tactically where seer is not going to be as needed to weed out rats because people are already running around a good amount most of the time in pubs at least whereas bloodhound you're going to have the increased killing capability because of the ultimate and the scan and I do think Bloodhound in pubs is a little bit better. If we look at the other side in the new ranked system that was implemented in season 13 of Apex, I absolutely do think that Seer is the better pick for rank these days. This is mainly due to the fact that Seer has that passive, so you can't track people down. You can tell who's around. And similarly, you can drop that ultimate. So if anyone is thirding you, you can have a little bit more increased awareness. Whereas Bloodhound is just not as needed in ranked right now. It doesn't mean that Bloodhound is a bad ranked pick. They are still a very good ranked pick, but I do think Seer has a little bit more more utility when it comes to a ranked environment. So which legend is overall better, Bloodhound or Seer? For me personally, I kind of find Seer a little bit more interesting and a little bit more satisfying to play. It might be because they are the newish legend compared to Bloodhound who has been out since day one. I think if I'm playing pubs, I'm gonna rock Bloodhound just so it can have that increased killing capability. But if I am playing ranked, I probably want Seer and their passive really is just so I can be completely safe and I'm not walking into an area not knowing what I'm getting into. Whereas Bloodhound, they don't really have this. Check out this video right here if you want to increase your killing capability in Apex Legends. Happy game. Legends.